is and I was like what's something that I used to do that I don't really do anymore and I was looking and I was looking and I was like you know what I don't really do deer maker videos anymore deer lists and I used to do them quite frequently there's a beard rest I think I did a So I decided to go to DeerMaker.com and we have the Video Game Franchises Tier List Maker. And as you see, we have Masterpiece, Very Good, Good, Above Average, Mid, Below Average, Not Good, Horrible, Trash, Never Played. And I'm seeing a huge, an absolutely massive assortment. It says 250 plus. Um, game, game franchises here. So, this is, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try not take too much time here explaining too much, but let's get into these. Starting with Street Fighter. And this is all gonna be my opinion. This is all gonna be my opinion. Um, let's see. Street Fighter. Now I, like for me personally, I've played a lot of Street Fighter 2, um, I used to play that all the time back in the day, I had that on Super Nintendo, I played it as like the World Championship Edition or something like that, I played a decent bit of Street Fighter 4 and 5, I haven't played 6 yet, of all the fighting game, like 1v1 2D fighting game series, it is my favorite I haven't played enough of it, I think, here, but I'm going to put it in the good tier. Red Dead. I mean, I think Red Dead Redemption 2 by itself would put this in Masterpiece tier. Combine that with how good the first Red Dead Redemption is, especially for the time it came out. And honestly, the one that most people haven't played, Red Dead Revolver. I grew up playing that game. I loved Red Dead Revolver. There was this duel mode that I played all the time where you could like do quick draw duels with the various NPCs. Um, I had a really interesting story where you played as Red Harlow. I'm gonna put Red Dead in Masterpiece territory. Now Halo, if we just have Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo ODST, Halo Reach, that's Masterpiece territory. Unfortunately, Halo 4 came out. Unfortunately, Halo 5 came out. And I really did not like Halo Infinite, so I feel like the latest batch, the, the, the more recent entries into the series, especially after Bungie left the franchise, have kind of pulled it down a little bit. For me, I have to put it in very good just because there's been some weak entries. Now I come to Grand Theft Auto. I'm not the biggest Grand Theft Auto guy, to be honest. I like Red Dead a lot more than Grand Theft Auto. Uh, growing up, I played a lot of GTA 3. I played a lot of San Andreas. I never really played Vice City back in the day. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, and then of course 5. But for me, the you know, the, the GTA Online stuff just isn't for me. I loved the story in 5. I remember I was there on launch day for GTA Online. I remember what an absolute disaster that was. But I just found that it, uh, it kind of, Grand Theft Auto has kind of just left a bad taste in my mouth at this point because of how greedy Rockstar has been with Grand Theft Auto. All the microtransactions, all that stuff. I still like the stories, but for me, I had to put it in very good. Uh, Mass Effect, I, I played and beat the first two. And I absolutely loved them, especially number two. I played a little bit of Mass Effect 3. I never beat it, because that's when all the... Uh, the trauma controversy was coming out about that game. And then I played a little bit of Andromeda. Again, did not beat that. 
I have the Mass Effect Remastered Collection for my Xbox Series X. I haven't gotten into that yet. Uh, for me, I'm going to put Mass Effect into good. Good. I feel like the, the later entries kind of drag it down, but 1 is very good. Mass Effect 2 is a masterpiece, but uh, Andromeda and 3, I feel like, kind of... Uh, maybe, I'm uh, maybe I'm judging Andromeda harshly, I don't know, but... The Sims. Now, I do personally like The Sims. Uh, especially The Sims 3. I really liked I played The Sims 2 a lot as a kid. You know, I've always liked The Sims. Um, if I'm being honest with myself, though, it is mid. But just because it's mid doesn't mean that you can't enjoy it, right? I enjoy a lot of games that I would say are mid, like 5, 6 out of 10. Sometimes those are the games you want to just play because sometimes these better games require a lot more time investment, right? Um, Castlevania, I've only played a small handful of Castlevania games. I don't feel comfortable putting them there. Resident Evil. Um, what Resident Evil and good. King of Fighters, never really gotten into it. Mortal Kombat. Depends on the game for me. Mortal Kombat is so up and down. I still haven't played the most recent one. Um, I'm, I'm kind of waiting while they release the Homelander DLC, I think. Though I may pick up like a. I might pick up like an Ultimate Edition of that game or something like that. But. Mortal Kombat's are okay. I don't like those as much as Street Fighter. I don't like the characters as much as Street Fighter. I'll put it in above average. I don't know what this is versus versus I've never I don't know if I've ever really heard of that Battlefield and this might sound crazy but I've never been a big Battlefield player just not my thing Medal of Honor um now when I was growing up with this Medal of Honor game PS1 that I played a lot. It was my brother's um, Medal of Honor 2, I want to say. You're, it was a World War II game. Uh, and you started off, you just had like a, a pistol and a knife, I think. Um, but beyond that, I don't feel like I've played the games enough. Like I never played... Warfighter, yeah, I'm gonna put there, just I feel like I haven't played them enough. Minecraft. This might be controversial. I'm gonna put Minecraft. Mm, I'll put it in good. I'll put it in good. Forza. Forza, for my money, has the best driving mechanics of any of the driving simulation games, I'll put it in good. Call of Duty, mid. I'm not a big Warzone person. Growing up, I played uh, Call of Duty 3 and 2 with my brothers a lot, especially Call of Duty 2. I played that a lot with my brothers. Then Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, especially Modern Warfare 2. I was playing that a ton back in the day. On the Xbox 360, my friends and I, like, we'd get home from school, hop on Modern Warfare 2, and be playing online until we went to bed. World at War, all that, I loved it, but I feel like the, the games, especially the campaigns, have just kind of been meh, so I put it in mid. Doom, I haven't played the most recent titles, uh, Guilty Gear, I don't know what Versus is. Persona never played. I don't know what that is, unfortunately. Wolfenstein, I've only played a couple. Devil May Cry, I have a, I always had a soft spot for these Devil May Cry games. Uh, I grew up playing DMC2. I uh, played that a ton on PS2. Um, but I've always loved the lore around Devil May Cry. Um, 
Always thought it's a super cool concept. I'll put it in. I'll put it in good Bayonetta. I haven't played it. I only played the first one. The Lego games. I'd, I'd say the Lego games are... Uh, yeah, I'd say they're above average. The Elder Scrolls. Morrowind's a masterpiece. I, I'm not a big Oblivion fan. I'm not a big Oblivion fan. Um, I don't know why. I just never could get into Oblivion as much. Skyrim's a masterpiece, obviously. Daggerfall. I've only played a little bit. Arena, I haven't played. I'm, a, I'm gonna put the Elder Scrolls in Masterpiece. Fallout. Fallout 1 and 2 are dated. I played them a bunch. Uh, back in the day, but at this point, like, I don't know if it's my attention span has just been, like, sewerized or something, but I just can't, like, get into Fallout 1 and 2 like I used to be able to. I put in so many hours into Fallout 3, Fallout 4, New Vegas, like, I've played those games to death, I absolutely love those games. For me, Fallout might be masterpiece territory, I might end up moving that. Super Mario. Super Mario legit doesn't miss. I can't think of any bad Mario games off the top of my head. Like maybe uh, Galaxy. I think of like everything Mario. Like they're all great. The OG Mario's are Super Mario 64. I grew up playing Super Mario Sunshine. I loved that game. Odyssey was really good. Game Super Mario like RPG is even really good. And like is Luigi's Mansion considered a part of Mario? Because those games rock. Super Mario is a masterpiece, as is The Legend of Zelda. Like this masterpiece section just blew up right there. I feel like when we fall out to very good, I, I feel like I have to move to very good. Metroid, I can never really get into those Dark Souls I'm not a fan of. Now Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, I love some. I hate some. And some of them I just honestly haven't played. Final Fantasy XIV's a masterpiece. Ten's a masterpiece. Seven's a masterpiece. Um... I like one. I don't like two. I haven't played three, four, five, six. Ten, ten, two are both good. Eleven. What was it, eleven? I can't remember. Final Fantasy eleven was the first online one. I never played that. I liked twelve. Thirteen, I didn't really like. It was too linear. I don't remember. Oh yeah, 14, I see the MMO, 15, I liked it at first, but then as I played it more, I didn't like it, and I have not played 16 yet. Final Fantasy, I'll put in very good deer. Dragon Quest, I've never really gotten into. Norquake. Counter-Strike, I'll put Counter-Strike in above average, I'm just not a big Counter-Strike person. Um... CSGO never did it for me. I used to play Source a lot with my older brother. He was big in a Counter-Strike Source. I haven't played the new one yet, but whatever. Team Fortress. I'll put Team Fortress in good. Half-Life. I'll put it in very good. It could even be Masterpiece territory. I imagine for a lot of people it is, but this is my personal list. And me personally, I just never got as into Half-Life as some other people have. Same thing with Portal. Um, I'll put it in. I'll put it in good. I like the Portal mechanics, but the games are all kind of a little bit short. It gets a little bit repetitive after a bit. For me, it's good. Sonic above average. There's some really good ones. There's some really terrible ones. Not 
I'll put Sonic in mid. Sonic is mid. Yakuza. Yakuza. I'll put in... I've, only, I've played Yakuza 0. I've played... Um, like a Dragon. I've played Injun. I've played... Uh, the Man Who Forgot His Name. So I haven't played all of them, but I've liked... I'll put it in very good. I'll put it in good. I'll put it in good. Super Smash Bros. So I've actually mentioned this before, and I got some flack for it on this channel. I don't like Super Smash Bros. It is not the type of fighting game I enjoy. I either like a 2D 1v1 fighter, which Super Smash Bros. is not, or I like a 3D arena fighter, which Smash Bros. is not. So for me, Smash Bros. does not really scratch any of my fighting game itches. I don't even really enjoy it that much as a party game, if I'm being honest. So for me, I'm just going to say it's above average. Hearts of Iron, Europe Universalis, Victoria, I don't really like. Or I haven't played, rather, but Crusader Kings, I do enjoy quite a bit. Company of Heroes, Pokemon, that has to go. I grew up on Gen 1, Gen 2, those games, the first three generations I played so much, those are masterpieces. More recent entries, like as soon as the Nintendo Switch came out and they started putting Pokemon on the Switch, those games have not been good. But I think for me it's still masterpiece territory. He's turning on playing now Mega Man. I, I grew up playing a lot of Mega Man X and Mega Man Adventure. I think is what it was called, Mega Man Adventure. And I really liked those games. But there's some... I'm gonna put it, I'll put it in above average for me. Metal Slug, Contra, I haven't really played Doho, Civilization. Civ 5 is my most played game on Steam. Um, Civilization 6 is just okay. Actually, I might even move it down to, to good. And just because I like it doesn't mean it's a masterpiece or very good. I have to admit that to myself. Um, but, you know, I, I have thousands of hours into Civilization at this point. Um, but yeah. I do love the games, but there are flaws, and honestly, I haven't played anything before 5. I didn't play 4, 3, 2, or the first one, and I don't really like 6. I still play Civilization 5 instead of 6. The Last of Us, I still haven't played 2, but I do like 1. I'm going to put in good deer. Uncharted, I hate to admit it. Crash Bandicoot. I do really like Crash Bandicoot. I'll put it there and above average. SimCity. The old ones are pretty good. The new one is trash. It kind of killed the franchise. I'll put it in mid. FIFA. I'll put it in below average because I do like playing FIFA. I enjoy the franchise aspect of it. The career aspect, both as player and manager. Uh, but the way Ultimate Team has become the main focus of the franchise, and it's kind of worked its way into every bit of the experience, I really dislike, so I'll put it in below average. Also, sometimes the AI is terrible, and I feel like it makes you give up goals on purpose. I think like FIFA has some really bad rubber banding, and the defensive AI especially can be really bad, so below average. Age of Empires never gotten into it. Don't even know what that says. Need for Speed. I think Need for Speed's above average. Now the Batman games rock steady. Arkham Asylum, love that. Arkham City is the best of them all. Arkham Knight is okay. Arkham Origin gets a lot of flack, but I actually do like that game. I'd put Batman in. I'll put it in good. And in justice, I'd put that in mid. It's alright. Midnight Club, I do like Midnight Club. Uh, Midnight Club Underground 2, I used to play that all the time. I'd put that there, I think. And I'm Gran Turismo.
smell eco and shadow of the colossus oh baby baby for me those are masterpieces i used to i had no idea what those games were um it was at a like a it was like a just a random mom and pop gaming shop and i saw eco on the shelf and i thought that looked so interesting so unique like, didn't like any other game they had, so I picked it up, I didn't know anything about it, I was, you know, just a kid at the time, but probably, uh, like, 10, 11-ish, I don't know, and I played it, and I was immediately enthralled, I loved every second of Eco. I played it for hours and hours and hours, and then Shadow of the Colossus came out, and that game had so much mystery, so much intrigue, like, the world building, everything going on is just so special. If you've never played those games, give them a shot. I promise you won't regret it. Bioshock. I'd put Bioshock into good. Bioshock is good. I didn't really like 2. I know a lot of people do. I know I'm in the minority with that, but I really did not like 2. 1 is still my favorite of them all. Infinite's okay. So for me, it's good. Stalker, Metro didn't play Spyro, no Spyro stuff for me because PS1 era, I was playing Spyro all the time, Spyro the Dragon, and then there's the other one, there's the sequel. Then they, they killed off Spyro with Skylanders, they made it like weird, and oh, for me, Spyro I'd put in very good. But it didn't very good. I, I did really love it's a foundational game for my childhood. Guitar Hero, I would say that's mid. You know, it was fun. I enjoyed it, but you know, it is what it is. Warcraft. I have to go very good there. I played WoW from World of Warcraft. I, I started playing week one of launch and I didn't stop my WoW subscription until probably 2019. 2019. So I'm trying to think like how much I, I, I've given Blizzard. Um, so it's what? It's uh, 50. It's 12 months times 2005, 2019. It's 14 years. 168 times 15 dollars a month. I gave Blizzard 2,500 dollars. Just in sub money for World of Warcraft, it's not even to mention orcs and humans, uh, Warcraft 3, The Frozen Throne, things like that. I, I, I do always, even though I don't play WoW anymore, I always have a soft spot for WoW and Warcraft. And if they ever announce, like, oh, this is the final WoW expansion, we're shutting the game down, I will probably go back and see seen the world of Azeroth for one last time and I imagine it'll be a very bittersweet time for me, Titanfall I'll put it in mid I do like the traversal I like the, there's a lot of aspects but the game has basically been ignored by the developers in favor of Apex which is really disappointing, Unreal Gears of War I really, I like Gears of War, I'd say it's good, uh, I didn't play Beyond 3, I know that there was Gears 4, Gears 5, I've not played either of those two, but I did enjoy the first three, Metal Gear Solid, um, I grew up playing 2, 1, I played a little bit on the NES, but I grew up playing 2, Metal Gear Solid 3 is, in my opinion, one of the greatest games ever made, I know Metal Gear Solid is masterpiece territory. Darkstalker, Starcraft. Never been as big of a Starcraft fan as Warcraft for me. I'll put it above average. I wish that they would have done a Starcraft MMO. I know that they were talking about it. But I don't think they could ever figure out how to translate it over. Uh, Rainbow Six. Assassin's Creed. Now, there was a point where I'd put it here, maybe even mid, but if I get this point, it's below average. Assassin's Creed 1, I liked. 2, I loved. Didn't really like 3. 4, I loved. Odyssey, I really loved. But 
everything else. Assassin's Creed, it got really long in the tooth, putting out too many games, the story kind of lost focus. Um, I still enjoy some of the gameplay elements, even though now at this point they're dull and repetitive. The parkour isn't as good as it used to be. It just feels kind of soulless at this point. Watch Dogs, I'll put Watch Dogs in mid, it's alright. Dishonored. Uh, I put it in the same spot. I haven't played that. Left for Dead, I'd put here above average, I'd say. Kingdom Hearts, oh baby, 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 I love. I know some people don't like the storytelling of Kingdom Hearts. You know, and the stories, admittedly, can be very convoluted, but I absolutely love Kingdom Hearts. I've put in so many hours into those games. I'm a big fan of Disney in general, so that's probably part of it. Like, I'm a weeb, and I like Disney, so you give me JRPG plus Disney, and it's like, this is perfect for me. I absolutely love Kingdom Hearts. It's one of Kingdom Hearts 2 is one of my favorite video games of all time. Hands down. Madden. I'm gonna put Madden into not good. It's worse than FIFA. Of the major sports games, in my opinion, Madden is easily the worst. Or you can put it into horrible territory. John Madden is rolling over in his grave at the state of the Madden video game franchise. 2K, below average. I want to put it in the same spot as FIFA. I like the gameplay in 2K. I like the My League in 2K. That's it. Everything outside of My League I do not care about. It's the only mode I touch. I used to put in so many hours into my career. But, like, it feels like after, like, 2K18, they just... 2K stopped caring about my career, the stories became trash. It all became about VC, VC, to buy so much VC. It became about, the, like, the park. So, like, they limited your builds in career mode. And it's like, you can't even be that good in career mode. Like, I want to make LeBron. I want to make, you know, like, a guy who can do it all. But you can't do that. Because they're trying to balance it for the park. But it's like, I don't want to play the park. So if I want to play career mode in 2K, I just make a custom player, put him on a draft class, stick him into my league and do it that way. Like, VC Ultimate Team Park ruined 2K for me because I'm purely, I love sports games, but I don't play sports games online. I refuse to do Ultimate Team. I refuse to buy currency. I only ever do franchise mode. That's it. And career. I haven't played enough. The NHL games are honestly trash. I want to put them in not good. They have a small team, but I mean, the, compared to FIFA 2K, the only thing, you know, I'll play NHL over Madden, but the NHL games need a lot of help. Things have not gotten updated in forever. There's like old models in the game from years ago. Like, goals are incorrect. Goal songs are incorrect. The licensed music is trash. Like, Angel games get no love from EA. And now we have the best sports video game, MLB The Show. Yeah, I'm easily the best sports video game. I'm not even that big of a fan of baseball. But I can sit down and play the show for hours. Simulation Engine is amazing. The franchise mode is good. The career mode's good. The, the Ultimate Team, even though I don't play it, isn't super greedy like some of the other ones. Easily the best sports game. Uh, Arma, I've only ever played a little bit. Ghouls and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins. I love Ghosts and Goblins. I'll put it in above average. Now we come to one of my favorite video game franchises of all time that has unfortunately been neglected by Sony. Where is Sly Cooper? Sony. The first one, one of the best games I've ever played. Ever. Two and three were both great. I think even there was a fourth one. I'm pretty sure that was pretty good. There was a trailer that came out for a Sly Cooper movie starring Bradley Cooper like ten years ago at this point. And then that just 
just disappeared. They never announced it was canceled. They never announced any. It just disappeared. Like it was one of the best franchises that Sony had. It feels like they've completely, completely just ignored it, and I don't understand why. Banjo Kazooie. I'll put that in good tier. Donkey. I've never really played many Donkey Kong games. Now Kotor. I love Kotor one. I hate Kotor two. That simple. I'll put it there. Um, Mountain Blade. I'm a big fan of Mountain Blade. I'll put it there above average. Battlefront. The old ones are really good. The new ones I don't really like. I'll put it in mid. Total War. I've only played a couple. Animal Crossing, I'll put into very good deer. And I'm now quickly going to pause this and go get a drink because I've already been recording for 30 minutes. I'm not even close to being like, done, I don't think, so I'll be right back. Alright. I got a Diet Coke, let's continue. Um, Fire Emblem never really got into God of War. This might be a controversial opinion. I like the old ones better. I'll put God of War into good. I'll put it into very good. Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, Tenkaichi. No, I never played these ones, but I did play Budokai, and I loved Budokai. But as much as I loved it, it wasn't that great of a game. I remember that Raditz fight in the original Budokai, where you just spin the thumbnail sticks around to try and get Piccolo's special beam cannon to hit you. Oh, that took me hours. And then fighting the Cell Jr. So oh, don't even... Naruto Ultimate Ninja. This one is was kind of mid. Now Ultimate Ninja Storm, especially the most recent one. Not the most recent one, the second most recent one. Most recent one sucked. I love that game. I think it actually is a good game. It tells the story of Naruto, one of my favorite animes, very well. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Final Fight, no. There's a lot of these I haven't played. Tekken. Uh, I like Tekken. I'll put it in above average. Star Fox. Now, I, again, I'm one of those rare people. I like Star Fox Adventure. That's actually my favorite Star Fox game. I've played a ton of 64. But I love Star Fox Adventure, the one where you are collecting dinosaurs. I don't know why. I was a GameCube kid, so I played that game a ton when I was younger. So I probably just have good memories attached to it, but Star Fox I'll put in good deer. F Zero Silent Hill. I'll put Silent Hill into good tier as well. Dino Crisis Duke Nukem is mid. Postal is mid. It's fun for a little bit of, you know, dumb fun, but other than that, it's whatever. Shanta, the Pac-Man. I mean, you know, respect where respect is due, but it's, I don't find the game itself that fun. Same with Tetris. It's just whatever. I don't know what that is. Bomberman. I never really liked Bomberman. For me, that's below average. Excite Bike. I don't think I played that. Splinter Cell. I put Splinter Cell in above average. I love those games. Uh, growing up, I don't know if any of you remember G4 TV and X Play, but there was Splinter Cell Go Up Theater because Splinter Cell Chaos Theory introduced Go Up for the first time. And I, oh my god, I used to, I loved that series, Splinter Cell Go Up Theater. And then I got Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, and I had a friend, you know, we'd come stay the night and we'd play Splinter Cell Chaos Theory Go Up all night long. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, I would say that's just pretty good. I enjoyed those games. Ghost Recon, I'll put in above average. Wasteland, I haven't played. Don't know what that logo is. Perfect Dark, I'll put Perfect Dark above average. One 
Space Pirate Warriors. It's basically just Dynasty Warriors. I'll put it in mid. Knights Jack and Daxter. The first few Jack and Daxter games were really good. The more recent ones I wasn't a big fan of. I'll put that in good tier. I still am not. That looks so familiar to me. So calm. So calm is above average. I like those games. World War One game series. I don't know. Oh, Jet Set Radio. Jet Set Radio is a masterpiece. And most of you have probably never even heard of this game, let alone played it. Find a way to emulate it because, like, I don't even know how I end up with a copy because I think it was decently rare in the United States, but we got it. It was like a Jet Set Radio Future and then some other game. Bro, that, that game blew my mind when I was a little kid. I'll put it in very good. Masterpiece might be overselling it, but it's it is very good. Splatoon, Fear Crisis, Never Got Into Crisis, Grand Blue Fantasy, no Dungeon Keeper, no. And there's a lot of these I haven't played. It's a lot of these Dead Space. I'd put Dead Space in above average. Rock Band to me, it's the same. You know, it's basically Guitar Hero, but a little bit better, you know, because you have the other instruments. Parappa the Rapper, Blood, The Witcher, now, I hated The Witcher 2. I never played The Witcher 1, I hated The Witcher 2, I think that was Assassin of Kings. The gameplay felt really clunky to me. Um, but then obviously The Witcher 3 is very, very good, but one really bad game. And one really good game, I'll put it in good tier. And Dragon Age, I really liked Dragon Age Origins, but I didn't really like the other Dragon Age games. And at this point, it kind of feels like that they've abandoned Dragon Age. I don't see any, like, new titles being made. Unfortunately, it was a very interesting world. Baldur's Gate, now this is another one. A lot of y'all talking about Baldur's Gate 3. Never played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. But I grew up with a brother who was... My brother was... He played Diablo 2 every night for like almost two decades. I want to put that up there. But my older brother, he was playing Icewind Dale. He was playing Wasteland. He was playing the OG Fallout. He was playing the OG Baldur's Gates, Neverwinter Nights. Like, those were the type of games my older brother was playing. So those are the type of games that I, you know, when I was a little kid, kind of too young to play that stuff, I was watching him play that stuff. So then I've played a bit of that now that I'm older, always have that in my DNA. I do not like the first two Baldur's Gate games. No, Baldur's Gate 3, yes, Masterpiece. But as a franchise, as a franchise... I'm going to put it in good. Because yes, Baldur's Gate 3, an amazing game, perhaps one of the best games of all time. But as a franchise, no. Worms. Worms is fun for a little bit, but it gets a little bit old. Ultima. Never played Five Nights at Freddy's. Super Monkey Ball is... It's alright, it's mid. Shinmu is... It's commendable what they did. I'll put it there. Atelier. I do like some of the Atelier games. I'll put it... I'll put Atelier here in above average. It has some interesting combat mechanics. Especially Atelier Ryza. I like those games. Soccer Wars haven't played Football Manager. I'll put that in good tier. Trying to run board me that I haven't played that flat out. The Tales of Series Horizon. Put Horizon in above average. Um, Valkyria, the Legacy of Goku. Uh, th these were the Game Boy Advance games, I think. I don't. I, I, I had the Legacy 
see a Goku 2 on my Game Boy Advance, and I don't really remember liking it. Raging Blast, I never played Dead Rising. Dead Rising, I'll put in above average. Prince of Persia, I, I really do like Prince of Persia, actually. I really did like those games, I'll put that in good. Driver is mid. I know I, some people really have a soft spot for those games, but actually anything they're below average. Uh, Spelunky, True Crime, Clock Tower, no, no, no. There were these old Tomb Raiders that include the old ones plus the new ones. I'll put those in good tier. Sniper Elite, Diablo, Diablo I'll put into very good tier. I love Diablo 2, Diablo 3 is... The more I think about it, the more I drop Diablo to good. Actually, Diablo 2 is hard carrying the franchise in my opinion. 4 has been trash, 3 wasn't that great. State of Decay was... I'll put it in mid, it's alright. I like it, but it's not the best. Fable, I actually really like Fable. I'll put Fable in a good tier. I played Fable 2, the first one a lot. Never really got into Fable 3. Um, Chivalry. It's fun, but there's metas that are exploitable and kind of gets old after a while. Samurai Shun never played on Dice 2 Warriors. I like these games. I, I, I love the, the Romance of the Three Kingdoms novel. I have that book. I haven't read it yet, but I find the lore about the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, like Lupu, Weibei, like all that stuff, super intriguing. Gameplay does get boring in her bed, if yes, but I don't know. I've just always had a soft spot for those games, as well as Dice 2 Warrior Gundam. And things like that, uh, Space Invaders, where'd that end up going? Game 2, this is just kind of mid, it's, you know, for what it was at the time, yes, very important game, but playing it now, Monster Hunter, I'd put in a good tier, I like, I like those games for the most part. so many of these I haven't played. Overwatch is mid at this point. Well, it's above average. I really liked the first Overwatch, especially closer to launch, but it just became a shell of itself, unfortunately. Borderlands. I put Borderlands in good tier. Um, Max Bay. Spain above average deer. Rayman. I put Rayman in above average deer. Kid Icarus Psychonauts. I actually do like Psychonauts. I love the concept of that game. I put it in good deer. 
Saints Row. I really liked Saints Row 2. Saints Row 3 was good. I didn't like 4. I never played 1. I'll, I'll put it here in above average. Saints Row 2. I really liked that game. Time Splitters. Bro, if you guys never played Time Splitters, you need to try and find a copy of that game. I had a neighbor and like I'd go over there stay night at my neighbor's house and it was his older brother like we were probably 10, 11 his brother was like 16, 17 or something like his brother would have a friend over I'd be over there and we'd be playing time splitters on the GameCube like just for hours and hours um I don't know Warhammer 40k Warhammer is such a mixed bag of video games. Some are great, some are okay, some are below average, some are downright terrible. So for me, Warhammer has mid games. XCOM. Uh, XCOM, I'd put in the above average tier. I'd love tactical games like that. It's going to go there. There's a lot of these I haven't played. Mario Kart. Let's see, for me, Mario Kart never has the appeal of Super Mario. Like, I like the games, but for me, Mario Kart gets very old after a while. But Mario Party, I, I do like those games more. I would put that in very good. Uh, Mario Tennis, I never played. Nor Strikers, Paper Mario. Jackrabbit, I don't know. Not sure what that is. Mega Man Legends, is that the... Is that the one where you were like walking around and it was like third person RPG type? Because I remember liking that game as a kid, but I don't know. I'll put it there. Destiny. I'll put Destiny in mid. Destroy All Humans, I actually did. I, I really had a lot of fun with that game. I'll put it there. Um, they cried. Uh, da -da, Rising Storm. Zone of the Enders. I don't know. There's a lot of these I haven't played. Wow. A lot of these I haven't played. Okay. So final look at my categories and masterpiece tier I've read Dead, The Elder Scrolls, Super Mario, Legend of Zelda, Pokemon, Eco, Shadow Colossus, 
about your solid and kingdom hearts in the very good tier I have Halo, Grand Theft Auto, Fallout, Final Fantasy, Half-Life, Spyro, Warcraft, Sly Cooper, Animal Crossing, God of War, Jet Set Radio, Time Splitters, Mario Party, and Paper Mario. In the good tier, which this looks like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. It's our second largest tier. Street Fighter, Mass Effect, Resident Evil, Minecraft, Forza, Devil May Cry, Team Fortress. Actually, I'm going to move Devil May Cry or Forza down to above average. So in good, I have Street Fighter, Mass Effect, Resident Evil, Minecraft, Devil May Cry, Team Fortress, Portal, Yakuza, Crusader King, Civilization, The Last of Us, Batman, Bioshock, Gears of War, Banjo Kazooie, Kotor, Star Fox, Hondel, Jack and Daxter, The Witcher, Baldur's Gate, Football Manager, Prince of Persia, Tomb Raider, Diablo, Fable, Monster Hunter, Soul Calibur, Borderlands, Psychonauts, Mario Kart, Mario and Luigi, Mega Man Battle Network. And above average, I have Mortal Kombat, Lego, Counter Strike, Zero Mario Brothers, Mega Man X, Crash Bandicoot, Need for Speed, Midnight Club, Starcraft, Left 4 Dead, The Show, Ghosts and Goblins, Mountain Blade, Naruto, Ultra Ninja Storm, Tekken, Splinter Cell, Ultimate Alliance, Ghost Recon, Perfect Dark, Subcom, US Navy SEALs, uh, Dead Space, Dragon Age, Shenmue, Atelier, Horizon, Dead Rising, Dice to Warriors, Ratchet and Clank, Advance Wars, Overwatch, Max Payne, Rayman, Saints Row, XCOM, Far Cry. Mm, I'll move Mega Man Legends down here. Destroy All Humans and Forza. In mid tier, I have The Sims, Call of Duty, Sonic, SimCity, Injustice, Rock Band, Guitar Hero, Titanfall, Watch Dogs, Dishonored, Battlefront, Budokai, Ultimate Ninja, Duke Nukem, Postal, Backman, Tetris, Fire Warriors, Worms, Monkey Balls, State of Decay, Chivalry, Space Invaders, Double Dragon, Warhammer 40k, Alone in the Dark, The Forest, Mega Man, Destiny, and Mega Man Legends. And below average, I have FIFA, 2K, Assassin's Creed, Bomberman, Dragon Ball Z, The Legacy of Goku, and Driver. And not good, I have EA Sports, Ain't Challenge, Dragon Ball Z Universe, In Horrible, I have Madden, and it Trash, I have Naruto, Uzumaki, Chronicles, I really disliked those games when I got them, when I had them as a kid. I remember really disliking them, which was weird for me because I loved, still love Naruto. But anyway guys, let me know what you think about this list, will you agree with, disagree with, remember this is all just my personal opinion. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this almost every single day. Until next time, guys.